I want 5k up next. I want 5k like tomorrow, but like obviously I don't think that's really realistic of me. Intro time. Hey guys, it's Naya and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. First of all, it's literally 9:30 in the morning. Uh, I don't know why I have so much energy, but I just woke up in a great mood because I hit like yeah! Next up, we at 5K, so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. You don't want to miss, like, all the content that I'm about to do. So let's go, let's get it, let's go. I want to kind of get, like, 1,500 subscribers by the end of the week. I don't know if that's too much to ask. Uh, sure. Today, I'm going to be doing a beginner-friendly how to install a lace front wig. Excuse my nightstand. Uh, it's kind of messy right now. Anyways, but... Yeah, that's all I have to say. I just hope y'all enjoyed this video, and yeah, <laughs> let's get it popping. Not ever in my life did I think I would be saying this right now, but I just did this braid. Oh, no. I just did this braid, y'all. I hope these braids are flat enough. So these braids are going to be the base for your wig. You don't have to braid your hair, but usually I never braid my hair as a base. I usually just, um... Do a slick back. I just wash my hair and blow dry my hair. I want to do braids because obviously I'm not going to put gel on freshly blow dry hair. Okay, so long story short, basically I was doing the braids, right? And I had them looking good on this side. When I finally perfected it on this side, this side started getting like, it started coming loose. You know what? I'm over it. I just slicked my hair back. I didn't use like any product or anything. It will not be ashy. No ma'am. The products y'all need to succeed, okay? A wig cap. Um, you're gonna find these near like the bonnets, the do-rag, and obviously your scalp is gonna be lighter than your skin tone. So you definitely wanna get like a lighter wig cap. Surprise, you need a wig. As y'all see, I got a pink wig. Need a brush, scissors, got to be glued, blasting freeze. You need your color like foundation or like powder or whatever edge control and an edge brush i don't need that right now so i don't have it like right here but since this is a beginner friendly walkthrough type video but it's usually two in a pack like you put both hands in there you stretch it and then you like put it on your head like this there are two methods to putting a wig cap on first method is the ball cap method which is the method i'm going to show you but the second method is if you plan on like taking it off like you know if you plan on taking the wig off and like not having it on for like a long time you can just like slide it all the way back and put it like that and just tuck your sideburns in the ball cap method you want to bring it all the way down over your ears you want to shake up your free spray along your hairline not like a straight line you know just do it like naturally I'm doing the middle part the ears really don't matter but you also need a blow dryer I forgot to mention that go to the bathroom oh my battery is about to die my camera are you serious so then with your blow dryer you just want to blow dry for like 15 minutes until it gets like hard start in the middle and cut you can just like peel it all the way up to your hairline I do want to be careful because you can like cut your skin my bad, y'all. I forgot a step. <laughs> you want to cut your ear out, so just cut it like this. Wrap it around your ear, like so. And then once you get to that part, you want to cut it off. Try not to cut your hair off. Back doesn't matter when you're doing a, a lace front wig, but if you have like a 360 wig, then the lace in the back does matter. Once you have it like all the way, like cut off your powder or your foundation or what, you can clean all that up later around. And clean up all the excess. We have like combs at the bottom. Yeah, this is the only comb I usually use. I just like stick it in the back. For the wig, you just wanna, it's literally so easy, I'm telling you. Just wanna slide it on. Stick the comb through your scalp. <laughs> My camera literally keeps dying because the battery is dead. But I'm losing light and I need to get this video done. So cute, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Cut the lace, so cut the lace right down the middle. And then just take the pieces that, cut that lace, put the hair in the ponytail maybe. It looks. I'm gonna have the lace cut as close as possible with it and cut it. See that? That's like the ball cap, so I kinda need to cut more of that off, so. 
want to do that too. Just pull it back. It's like 9 in the morning, so like... If I look like I just woke up, I did. So pause in this video. From now, like from this point on, I'm going to be talking through like what I was doing. Because I feel like I wasn't explaining it really well. Because I was kind of rushing. Starting from when my camera died. On my phone, basically, I was just... It got to be glue and you spray it along the front. Now, this is like a temporary hole. Like, you might have to keep doing it like every day. Or like, if it gets loose. And once you like put the wig on, you can get a blow dryer. And you can blow dry it for a minute. And then blow drying it will make the glue stick for longer. Just just like on your cap this part you guys couldn't really see me but what I was doing was I was plucking the part so plucking the part basically makes it look more natural a long part in this wig but like I only picked the front because in pictures you know you want to make sure it looks nice yeah I just put a little vitamin E oil on the edges though because I did put a lot of like spray and stuff so it got like ash and after you plug you do your edges so this is the part where I started getting frustrated and this is why like I just stopped recording for a minute because like I could not get the edges like y'all don't understand like usually it's easy like with the edge piece of the hair and then you like cut it to like here and then you like lay the edge like you would do your regular edges right what I was doing was I was just gonna do a swoop like this like you know how some people have the middle part with the swoop just going around but then when I did it it didn't look good like it didn't look as good as I thought fun fact about this wig though this was the last one that was on a mannequin bro and low-key I was kind of hurt about it and I am still kind of hurt about it because like y'all see how pretty the curls look now like just imagine if the curls was like fresh never touched I just stopped recording completely and then I was like bro what to do so then that's when I just because you know like the two strands you had cut short what I did was I literally just cut them off like and I just used my own edges and boom when I just did my own edges with it that's when I finally liked it so I was like okay whatever I'm done now so then I finally got done I started taking all these pictures and now I'm feeling myself and now I just think it's the cutest thing ever but yeah so that's no, all I hope that. that was like explanatory enough like if it wasn't please feel free to dm me on instagram thank y'all so much for 1k again like I'm so happy like bro I'm so happy I hit 1k like, if you're new here and this is your first time ever seeing my face subscribe for more content I mean, we 5k up next i want 5k up next i want 5k like tomorrow but like obviously i don't think that's really realistic of me but you never know i could wake up with 5k follow my social medias at night and day on all platforms if you're watching this and you have an instagram go on instagram right now swipe over to the left take a boomerang or a picture of this right now hashtag it naya nation at naya and day on instagram so i can see it comment down below video request and yeah peace out